everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got a run today from YouTube user slash media outlet Twinfinite, who I actually know, they did a, a big podcast with Edmund McMillan a few months ago. I think it, I can't remember if it was pre-Wrath of the Lamb or if it's just like now, which is pre-Rebirth. But anyway, they got a lot of exclusive information, so I'm happy to see them interacting here. So everyone go check out YouTube.com slash Twinfinite and see what they're up to. They make a lot of Isaac-themed content, but in any case... I am playing a run that they suggested called No Limits. Now, the reason that it's called No Limits is because we have the Penny. Wow, that is kind of useless, I guess, since we already have Pyro. Uh, but we have uh, a dollar, not the Penny. What am I even talking about? We also have uh, the Pyro, obviously, and the Skeleton Key. The Pyro probably made me sound like a 70-year-old man. Bear with me. Basically, the conditions for this run, the negatives, if you will, for having so many positives here, is that we now have to go to every single room that we come across. We have to go to every shop, we have to go to every item room, sure, that's cool. We have to find every secret room, still gravy in my book, but we also have to go to every curse room unless it would kill us. And that's gonna be the negative. So they suggested that the balancing factors in this game, uh, or this run, I should say, are the fact that we were going to be having uh, to possibly, you know, really hurt ourselves on those later curse rooms, or just actually find ourselves, like, spending 20 minutes trying to find a secret room on a later floor, like a, you know, Depths XL or something like that. I like this run. I like having, a, you know, maximum consumables at my disposal. If I have to, I can uh, always boot into Cheat Engine and give myself a refill if necessary. But I'm going to try to avoid that temptation uh, because I really do not want to uh, have to do that. And I don't want it to be, like, an incentive for me to kind of abuse the number of bombs that I have, if that makes any sense. By the way, the reason I was down half the Spirit Heart to begin with is, as usual, whenever I do a challenge run, I end up getting hit for whatever reason. Hopefully our item room ends up being good for us here. I still have the D6, you know, I, I'm playing as Isaac. I feel like the D6 should still be allowed. Uh, looks like there's two possible locations for a secret room there. Why even bother taking the key? I'm gonna reroll Lemon Mishap. Dead Sea Scrolls. More like Dad Sea Scrolls. More like Dad's Pee Hole? I don't even know where I'm going in my life anymore. What am I doing here? Hey, the noose! That is an actual transcendence, actually. Uh, that is an awesome... Uh, item there. I don't even know. Why am I shooting the fire? What am I hoping to find in the fire? By the way, they explicitly stated, for all you know-it-alls out there, uh, that by all secret rooms, they only meant the first secret room. Not every second secret room, because that would literally take, you know, probably half an hour combined. Oh, just move for once. Uh, half an hour combined over the course of the uh, episode. That's a good bomb. Managed to do a decent amount of damage. Again, didn't work at all. This one's not going to work either. Uh, I don't want to abuse bombs too much, but, you know, we're probably at the point where we're <laughs> mostly sustainable. That should do it. Oh my god, I suck. I gotta just plant them a little bit earlier. Whatever, let's just use bullets at this point. The pin doesn't kill itself, we should be able to kill it very easily. We're gonna get, uh, Tears upgrade, which is awesome. The tarot card is the devil, which is still pretty good. And we're gonna go down to the next floor. Don't let me forget! I have to go to every single room. We have no curses on this room, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, yeah, we have to go to every shop. We have to find the secret room, even if we have Curse of Blindness, which could be super fucking annoying. Uh, we have to go into the arcade. I don't have to do anything once I'm in there. That obligation was never stated, but uh, got to at least visit every room. The curse rooms are going to be the hardest part, I think. Let's see what we've got in our item room. It is Monstro's Tooth. Obviously, we're not going to want to deal with that. Uh, just going to walk in here, and you know what? We are going to have a chance. Two at the very least. I, I could pull some shady shit and, like, slim shady shit and, you know, turn into a professional rapper. No, but I could pull some shady shit. We might as well play this guy once then if we can get this. Um, and, you know, start using my money to possibly, uh, you know, get a lot of red hearts out of the slot machines and the, the skull guy and then play the blood bank more and just try to get a health upgrade out of that. I, I think that's a viable strategy. I don't think that strategy uh, is against the spirit of the challenge run. I just find that that would take me far too long. Uh, for me to really find that appealing. So I'm gonna stay away from that, and in the meantime, we're just gonna take our time. Just moving on, these guys will forget about me after they've been gone, because they won't have any brains left with which to think. We're gonna come down here and reroll reroll Monstro's Tooth. Remind me to take a look at that item room as well. And hopefully we are just bereft of curse rooms for now. You know what? Mr. Boom, or sorry, Mr. Mega seems like a nice synergistic item to take with uh, the 98 bombs that we currently have at our disposal. This will make a lot of the bosses a little bit easier. May open up some uh, alternative viable strategies for us as we move forwards, but for now we're still very very early on. Anything could happen. Sadly, I would love to get the Ouija board at this point. It's just me, you know, I, I love uh, I love Ouija board, I love spectral tears. I shouldn't say I love Ouija board. I love the effect that Ouija board has. But is it just me or has it become like totally antiquated and basically useless now that Spirit of the Night is in the game? 
Wow, this is awful damage for me to be taking. Uh, I, I think that Ouija board has basically become... It used to be okay. Now I think it's kind of a waste because the odds of you getting Spirit of the Night are like 10 times better than the odds of you getting Ouija board in the first place. Uh, we do have Gluttony here. This is a good one because I'm hoping to get some extra HP uh, by way of Gluttony's uh, item here. Obviously, we could just place some bombs next to him, but I don't think that's necessary right now. Again, kind of trying to shy away from bomb use when it's not necessary. Because I don't want to give myself that, like, too much extra temptation uh, to use bombs. Lest this become just like a, you know, Dr. Fetus run, basically. That's what I'm worried about. So I'm trying to strike a good balance there. Just checking for the secret room, just in case. With 99 keys, obviously that HP upgrade now belongs to us by way of that golden chest. I don't know what this chest could possibly contain to make me feel better, but sure. More hearts that I could end up spending at the arcade. We do have no uh, idea where the secret room is yet. But we do have the shop here, and obviously with all this money, the shop is going to be something that I'm going to be very interested in. Especially now that we got 99.0 with sand. You know what? Let's take the candle. Let's buy the spirit heart. Now we're done with the D6, and we have a lot of great items at our disposal already. Still have to find the secret room. This is not a curse room. This is a self-sacrifice room. I'm not actually actively trying to skirt around the game by any stretch of the imagination. I'm literally saying... You know, I, I, where would you draw the line with that? Until I get down to half a heart, I'd have to play those self-sacrifice rooms. It doesn't seem totally right to me. In any case, very good floor for us so far. We have explored every room except for the boss room now. So let's move on. And we're going to be getting a cube of meat here, which, you know, not necessarily the greatest item. Uh, we're going to... That was awful damage, but at least, you know, the spirit heart absorbed it. Much... <laughs> That's not necessarily preferable, because otherwise I would have just replenished it with some of the red hearts that have been kind of kicking around. Uh, but in any case, one or two more fires should be enough to take out Famine here. One was indeed enough. Thank God I didn't take damage there. Might have earned myself a chance at a deal with the devil. Did not, but hey, there's our cube of meat. And down to the next floor with flying, one cube of meat, blue candle, a tears upgrade, uh, and an HP upgrade as well. So now we are on Caves XL. Home of the hottest classic rock in the city. And we're primarily going to be using our, uh, blue candle here for damage in all likelihood, uh, but you know, there are, there's a possibility that I might find a better spacebar item than Blue Candle, it's not necessarily likely, but it's possible, uh, with one penny up here, we'll just take that and then move onwards, again on our quest to go to absolutely every single room. By the way, I like the realism in Twinfinite's suggestion here, which is like, hey, we want you to go to every single room, even rooms you don't like, here's everything you might need to get into those rooms, because that actually makes this run, like, a theoretical possibility. As opposed to, you know, what could have been just like, go to every room, no advantage is necessary. Spelunker's hat is going to make Secret Room much easier to find for us. That's actually a really lucky item to get on a run like this. And you know what? Fighting Greed this early doesn't really bother me. We should still have uh, at least two shops left in the game. Whether they're beneficial or not remains to be seen. Ideal items in those shops, obviously we're going to be looking for Map and Compass, the Northern Lion standards. Uh, at this point, because it's not like we need any other spacebar items. And for once, you know, uh, the 9 volt and battery don't actually benefit me at all. At least when I'm using Blue Candle. Wouldn't be bad to buy them anyway, because I have, you know, way too much money and it would future-proof me just in case I came across, uh, you know, some better items in the future. There's not many better items than Blue Candle and, you know, and to a certain extent it's situational. But there are some that would probably be preferable. For example, the Nail, of course, would probably be a, a better choice than Blue Candle. A smarter choice, if you will. But anyway, let's just move onwards now. I'm getting ahead of myself. There is our second secret room. Now we can fulfill the condition of going to absolutely every secret room in all likelihood. Candle is always great for taking out these ooze guys. Provided that I can actually hit them with it. Oh, that's close. I was playing chicken there. And even though I stopped playing chicken, I still somehow managed to fuck myself up. In any case, uh, we need to get some hearts back, man. Which might require me going to that arcade. If I end up... Well, Isaac's Fork is also a pretty solid upgrade for that. Troll Engine must like me today for whatever reason. Uh, we still have not found our other secret room, and I worry about there being a curse room nearby. Uh, obviously that's not the secret room, I was just about to foolishly check. Let's come in here to our, our arcade. I really do not enjoy uh, wasting time in the arcades. So I'll just end up picking up some of this stuff right here by blowing it up. And you know what, at this point we should probably blow up the uh, blood bank as well. Has a predilection to give out hearts probably just misused that word greatly and it didn't even give us any hearts it instead merely gave us money that I can't possibly use but in any case still trucking along just fine here should be a series of uh, easy rooms in particular this one right here where I can just hang out and have literally zero risk to myself as long as I don't get totally stupid range upgrade is totally fine not a great item uh, to be getting but certainly uh, 
not something that you'd want to look in the mouth. Sometimes my takes on turns of phrases worry me a little bit and make me wonder, did I have a bad childhood? I don't feel like I had a bad childhood. Again, we have to backtrack and go to absolutely every single room, even if we do uh, luck out and manage to find our boss room right here. But it's seeming increasingly unlikely the further we go, we obviously go have to go into the uh, mob trap room here. And I think if we're sticking to the conditions of the run, we should play it. To get 10 extra bombs is obviously totally worthless, but... Well, not totally worthless. We did pick up like 5 bombs as a result, but... Uh, not a huge benefit to us by any stretch of the imagination, but I was thinking like we could probably run a loophole here and just say, oh, we went into the mob trap room, but we don't, we're not contractually obligated to take anything, but I don't want to, you know, engender that kind of resentment, that kind of relationship with the audience or the people suggesting the challenge runs. I'm not, I'm never actively trying to eschew the objectives of the challenge runs. Sometimes it happens, it always happens by accident or by necessity. I'm just going to wait for this guy to pop up. Kill him in two hits, probably, and then use the candle like so. And we got an extra penny for it, so I'm not sweating it. Obviously, this is kind of a bigger floor, considering, you know, it is uh, an XL floor. That's an easy kill. I love the candle, man. Always, always a good time. Dude, was that the, on the pyro run? Did I roll candle only? I think that's how that ended up happening. It's been a while, though. I think that was the last run I recorded before I actually got a little bit sick. So, there was like a five-day-long break. I know I'm talking about this illness a lot. It actually wasn't that bad. It's just, you know, one of the few exciting things that's happened in my life recently. Which is pretty sad in its own right. But hey, PAX East coming up. Uh, I'm not merely using the candle. It just seems like using the candle is the most efficient way to get through these guys. There is our secret room, finally. Uh, so, you know what? We might as well just clear out this little path right here and put a bomb down. Maybe we'll catch somebody in the blast. We did indeed, saving us perhaps a little bit of time. Although, you know, to set that up, it took me a little bit of time as well. So it was probably a wash in the whole scheme of things. Inside we have Dad's Key, which I don't really like, but hey, at least we already went to the uh, secret room. There's our boss room, which we will, of course, go to as well. But we might as well leave that to last, because I don't want to accidentally, you know, out of force of habit, uh, find myself leaving before going to absolutely every single room. I think that would be a pretty shitty thing to do. So, again, Ouija board, man. This is one of those few situations where taking Ouija board... Uh, actually seems like a viable deal with the devil decision at this point. Uh, sadly, TNT didn't explode with the fire. Tears will ignite a TNT barrel. Fire won't. Little known fact. We've got to be getting very close to the end uh, of our floor here. Maybe another five or six rooms, including the boss room, is my expectation. We'll see, though. Extra keys never hurt. I was getting a 95, so I was a little bit uh, hurt. Or hurting, I should say, for keys. And I totally forgot that we had a second item room, because we've already got so many great items at our disposal that it seems like uh, it's a little overkill. Hey, Ghost Baby! Not a bad item to have. No limit to his usefulness. Well, actually, there is a limit to his usefulness. But if we're not going to get Ouija board, at least we're coming fairly close with uh, Ghost Baby here. Maybe we can get a Spirit Heart out of this. That's the main reason I'm blowing things up at this point, is I'm like, well, in all likelihood, it's going to give us something we already have around 90 of, but maybe we'll get lucky and get a Spirit Heart out of it which would be, uh, you know, worth my time. Again, Ghost Baby basically functioning as a miniature Ouija board. Gotta be getting fairly close. I mean, of course it's a big floor, but still, good lord. Work with me here. I got places to be, not really. What's this pill? Speed up. That's actually fantastic. I was feeling like I was a little bit slow. We might have uh, another, yeah. Oh, we have a, it's not a curse room, though. It's a self-sacrifice room. I'm pulling the loophole there. Again, it's not to be like, oh, check it out, I'm smarter than you. It's to be like, if logistically, it makes no sense for me to go in and lose all of my hearts on the uh, self-sacrifice room. I hope I'm not messing it up anyway. I'm trying to be in uh, you know, good faith with this challenge run here. Can we even hurt ourselves on these? Yes, we can. And we can pick up uh, a penny as well. Uh, but I, w I took it as like the self-sacrifice rooms with the spikes on the doors. In any case... Inevitably, I will be- my inbox will be full of tweets and angry comments if I am uh, mistaken. So we do have two bosses to fight here. I'm gonna save the devil card for the second one. Uh, we, I mean, we do have a devil card uh, just kind of chilling in a room randomly, but I don't want to backtrack to get that. We did pick up the small rock, by the way, in case you're just listening and not watching. Uh, so our tiers are gonna be a little bit more damaging now, perhaps making them more viable uh, than they used to be, where I was basically only using the uh, blue candle. That was a very easy fight. 
We pick up a range upgrade and a spirit heart, neither of which are really all that useful. But let's see who our second boss is here before we start complaining too hard. Uh, it's gonna be Fistula. Fistula, I'm hoping, is gonna give me an HP upgrade and a deal with the devil that will allow me to use that HP upgrade effectively. Now, the easiest way to deal with this fight, or the least risky way to deal with this fight, would probably just have been to let Ghost Baby take care of it. But we got through it regardless. We got Cat of Nine Tails, exactly what I wanted. And now we have Mom's Knife for a single Spirit Heart, which I am indeed gonna take. Remember, the run's called No Limits, man! Mom's Knife Blue Candle is a sweet setup for taking out those later bosses, and we are probably going to have the Jesse Pink glitch right here. Which is a cue for me to rehydrate just a little bit. Uh, this could also be an XL floor. Did I go to the secret room? I did go to the secret room on the last floor. Okay, I was just making sure that I didn't completely go against the, the challenge run there. Anyway, we will wait for the game to load up here. Eventually, this pink glitch is gonna not exist anymore. Maybe when Rebirth comes out, and I'm gonna be a very happy camper because that means less dead air. How you guys doing? I'm doing pretty well. Been playing some good Steam games recently. You guys check out Super House of Dead Ninjas. That game's cool. You guys check out March of the Eagles. That game's cool as well in a, a much dorkier way, which I can kind of get behind. Well, it is only Depths Part 1, but we do have a secret room for us. We've been very lucky this game uh, with the, the... Well, we don't even need this money. Why am I wasting my time? Uh, we've been very lucky this game with the uh, upgrades that we've gotten so far. Very, uh, the, the troll engine's been very good to us, which doesn't always happen, so I like to recognize it when it does. Now, again, curse rooms are a necessity. And this, at this point, now that I have a Spelunker's hat, the condition to go to all of the secret rooms is basically just turning this into a vanilla run, is how it feels anyway. Uh, there's our item room. Uh, we have speed and range. I don't know why I thought that was poison touch. The extra speed, usually beneficial when you're using something like Mom's Knife. Uh, and what's kind of cool is that we have Mom's Knife for the up-close stuff. But we also have a very high damage, fairly long range uh, weapon in Blue Candle. So I'm looking forward to using both of those effectively. And also, you know, they kind of each have their own charge up time or refractory period. Which means that it is totally possible for me to just fire Mom's Knife and then immediately uh, switch into Blue Candle in the off or the, the interim period while they are recharging, which is beautiful. Let's see what we've got in our second secret room. It is a slot machine, or a fortune teller, which I'm just going to blow up. It contains Burnt Penny, which obviously could not be much less useful with us having 98 bombs already. Now we are just going to take out these guys one by one. And there is a curse room. I will honor the conditions of our agreement, Twinfinite. And uh, put myself into that curse room, which will take half a spirit heart off me. And give me absolutely nothing in return. Fair enough! You have bested me this time. Uh, let us move onwards. And uh, we've been to every room, but we need to go to the shop still. We did go to the shop on the last floor. It contained greed. I remember. So again, map and compass are definitely on the, uh, the short list of items I am very much interested in receiving. Candle is way more effective against zombies. We have a... The other great thing about this setup, as I take like the worst damage of all time, is that we've got great items for dealing with a multitude of difficult enemies, and man, am I getting fucking lucky with respect to all these items. This is crazy and awesome. I like it a great deal. Not to mention, uh, all these golden chests, which we've gotten so far, uh, have been good to us. This one, not necessarily. Gave us an extra key. We were getting a little low, down at 94. How about this one? Uh, cancer. You know what? Let's, let's roll with Isaac's fork for now. Uh, I know that might seem crazy, but I might need those red hearts more than I need doubled rate of fire with an, uh, a tier effect that doesn't really scale with rate of fire all that well. It still wouldn't be bad, I think. It's just not really uh, all that useful, is my impression of, of, of how this would go if we got cancer. It might make it, like, it might make Mom's Knife charge to max range faster, but uh, the lifesteal could really come in handy if I start hemorrhaging spirit hearts at some point. So we're going to be fighting Monstro de. Uh, I'm immediately going to take the worst damage of all time. Let's get some candles going in here. Quick fight. HP upgrade. Coin purse. Potentially an HP upgrade. Let's see. Puberty. Worthless. Speed up. Sure, let's go fucking crazy. No limits, man. Devil card, of course. And range up. Okay, so we don't get any HP upgrades. I'm feeling like our health is a little low. But uh, we've been to every room, so let's go down to the next floor. And I'm going to take a quick break here to hydrate again. I feel like I got a little frog in my throat. <coughs> Pardon me. Still shaking the cobwebs of the greatest illness I've ever suffered out. Uh, we have Monster Manuel, which obviously we don't want. It looks like we've got a lot of rooms to go to here, including a curse room, which, you know, I'm hoping to keep my health high so that that's not going to hurt us too much. 
Uh, oh, and there's secret rooms there. I've already lost all those spirit hearts that I got. Now health is starting to be a major issue. We have a great run offensively. Oh, I shouldn't take that yet. I should wait uh, until hopefully we get some spirit hearts. Notched axe, huh? We're really gonna go in that direction. Tarot card is strength. Uh, you know, I'd probably rather have the devil. I think strength works better for us. Uh, or sorry, I think the devil works better for us with providing damage. I know strength does give you all stats up, which of course gives you a damage up as well. Uh, but, uh, the devil works like Book of Belial, which is like substantially more damage, not just a single damage upgrade. To the best of my knowledge anyway, which is usually not all that strong. Our secret room has now been discovered, and you know, we picked up enough money to take us basically back to max money, which is not really worthwhile right now, because we've already finished our last shop. But alas, you know, shops have been very good to us, I can't complain about that. And as much as I love having uh, Candle and Mom's Knife, we're kind of at the point where, you know, Candle is sort of redundant. I wouldn't mind replacing this with a, a better item at this point. Uh, we'll blow up these guys, because if I can get some... Extra red hearts, which we will not be able to do. But Samson's Lock, I mean, good trinket, but I'm not going to take it because we don't really need it. Because uh, we're just going to be giving it up shortly anyway. Similarly, left hand. Trinkets at this point couldn't really be less valuable because we have no opportunity to get Mom's Purse. I believe, anyway. Uh, Ace of Spades. And now, of course, that I've said that trinkets are not valuable, we'll just be getting them continuously. Of course. Now, these bomb flies, probably better to use the candle on those. So I guess there is a benefit. Now, that is obviously our... Uh, exit and boss room over there, so I'm gonna make sure I go to all these rooms first. Again, wanna make sure I'm honoring the terms of the challenge run. It's easy for things to slip my mind, as you guys know. So if I can be prudent and make sure I, uh, get to these rooms sooner rather than later, I think that's better for everybody involved. Now, I'm kind of, on this room, I'm, I'm wary about getting too close to these guys, so I'm just gonna keep the, the knife out as, like, a defensive measure and use the candle to do most of my attacking. For a while I did that anyway. Okay, let's see what we've got in here now. Book of Belial. Ooh, that is, uh, it's really tempting. That would give us insane damage, but I'm gonna keep the candle for now, although it's a close call between those, believe you me. Uh, I'm gonna keep the candle for now, because I believe it will provide me with, uh, greater defensive benefit when we get onto those later boss fights, uh, like Isaac and Blue Baby, assuming we do make it to those later boss fights, which is, of course, always, uh, a crapshoot, basically. There is some skill required, but a, a lot of that, at least at my skill level, is luck. Let's come down here, kill that dude, get some more money. We got a, uh, another se- no, it's not a secret room, it just kind of looked like one on the map. Uh, just trying to shoot some fire in here to keep me from having to get super close to those, uh, angry heads. By the way, I totally forgot that I could just fly over areas, basically. Looks like the mob trap room is not going to be a possibility. Super Wrath could potentially be awesome for us. Also awesome is the, uh, oh, come on, I can't believe that didn't hit us, but geez, lucky me. Uh, also awesome is that Tinted Rock, which will hopefully work out in our favor and give us, uh, Spirit Hearts so that I can pick up that Eternal Heart. And again, another Trinket. Anyway, let's blow this up. Decent boss fight. Uh, we find a golden chest which contains nothing of note, really. At least given our current standards. I can't go to the mob trap room. I mean, I can't, uh, I could, you're right. But I don't have enough health necessary to do it. Okay, you know what? You're goading me into it. Did I already blow up the blood bank? If I blew up the blood bank, it can't be done. If I didn't, uh, then I can get myself low enough. Unless, of course, I get a blood bag. In which case, I will not be able to get low enough unless I hurt myself. Okay, so that's as low as I'm gonna get. That money, obviously, totally worthless. I hope you appreciate that I'm possibly killing myself to make this run work. And I can't believe that that, uh, Tinted Rock didn't contain any spirit hearts, which would have made this a lot easier on me and a lot less chance of my actual death occurring. Please health up in here. That is a health up. Okay, I feel a lot better about things. Fighting Chubb doesn't really bother me, considering the insane damage that we are going to be dealing. He is dead already, and then I believe we'll have either Peep or two Larry Juniors. Peep, alright. I would have preferred two Larry Juniors, that much is probably obvious, though. Another hit or two should be enough. And it all worked out for the best there, <laughs> kind of surprisingly. Uh, I would like to go back and now blow up that Blood Bank. We're obviously going to go back and get that Eternal Heart as well, it might not end up working out in our favor. But we've got to go to it regardless, because, um, yeah, you know, the chance for us to get an extra HP is, is too valuable to pass up. Anyway, let's put, put a place a bomb here, and, uh, wow! Actually got back to full health. That was totally unexpected. 
With the amount of speed that we have, I don't mind backtracking. Let's blow this bad boy up just in case there's something beautiful inside. Uh, just money and live bombs. Now, I really should just hang out over these rocks. I, if I got hit there, I would have been a very not happy camper. An ornery camper, if you will. Let's go back. We're going to try that Eternal Heart. I imagine that all of this backtracking is going to be nullified in a matter of seconds as I get hit on the mom boss fight. If by nothing else, then the, end, the explosion at the very end, which always gets me. People have told me the explosion happens uh, at the place where her foot was last. I appreciate the information. That's probably not going to help me dodge, though. So, again, I'm really hoping for uh, an HP upgrade from Mom. Uh, stacking HP upgrades. Six is probably enough to, to make some really good progress. I'm going to save this Devil card. I don't think it's necessary yet. If I could save it for the Cathedral, I would be uh, a very, very happy boy. And I kind of hate this version of Mom. But we're doing enough damage that it shouldn't be a big deal either way. Wow, that ended up working out well for us. On the downside, we got a range upgrade. Uh, which is not very useful at all. But on the bright side, we didn't get hit, so this Eternal Heart basically turns into an HP upgrade. And we are going down to the next floor, which again is going to give us the pink glitch, apparently, which is my cue to take another sip of water. Thanks a lot, Twinfinite. I give you one job. Okay, it's the Womb XL. At least it's not Curse of Darkness or Curse of the Blind or Curse of the Lost. Uh, so it should still be easy enough for us to go to every single room and to know that we're going to absolutely every single room. Which is, you know, a sore spot sometimes. I don't even know why I wanted the map and the compass then, now that I think about it. If I've got to go to every single room anyway, map and compass don't really give me so much benefit. Uh, there is a curse room on this floor, which means, at the very least, we are going to be losing the spirit heart, which I worked so hard to complain about not having. Uh, let's check out this curse room right away. Actually, you know what? We should wait until we find out if we actually lose the spirit heart normally. I think. I'm not sure if this actually benefits us. Maybe my reasoning is, is totally backwards. Uh, don't shoot me, motherfucker. Ghost Baby just rocked his ass, which is good because I totally froze. Are you serious? I keep... The same shot missed like eight times there. But I've got to remember, don't leave without going to that curse room. That's a very important uh, thing to remember here. Or people are gonna get angry. Oh, that was bad damage. Okay, now that I've lost that, I think we can go to the curse room. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this devil card, man. I'm just gonna work my way back to the curse room like so. Extra money, who gives an S? Extra bombs, sure, I'll take those, even though, you know, it's not that important. And now that we kind of have a bead on which direction our boss is gonna be, uh, you know what I should have done? Well, oh, that's, that was functionally zero change. What I should have done is taken the hermit card into the, into the curse room with me, that would have been better. Health up, balls of steel, that's pretty good. We're getting some swings here, but at least, you know, it's sort of benefiting us in the end. Our range is through the roof right now. Can't complain about that. Uh, and there's our second secret room, which will mark every room being explored on this floor. Hopefully another Eternal Heart. We might be able to make it last. Wishful thinking, perhaps. But we'll see. Uh, and uh, it's counterfeit penny. Normally a pretty good trinket, but we don't need it here. Uh, the, uh, ba -ba, what was I going to say? I totally forgot. Oh, the, you know, the, the silver lining here is it's a big floor, but we're on the Womb XL, which means we'll be fighting both bosses at once, which probably functionally means, you know, this floor as a whole is going to be smaller than, you know, as if we were going through two rooms. I think I might be totally off by that. Maybe an XL floor is literally just two floors stacked on top of one another, in which case I would feel pretty silly right now, but, well, you know. It's not the end of the world. With our damage and our defensive ability, I feel pretty strong about our chances, even on this long floor. And then we'll move up to the cathedral. Cathedral should seem substantially smaller by the time we get there. Uh, then we go to the chest, and I guess the real problem is going to be going to every single room on the chest, because I hate doing that. But, you know, rules are rules. It's what separates us from the beasts. And, you know, I'm kind of coming around to the idea of having a long-range mom's knife in the form of this candle. Which is allowing me to take out enemies like those vaginal bomb flies without putting myself in direct harm, which is normally the real problem with using uh, that item against those certain kind of enemies. Sadly, the candle is, uh, you know, fairly inadequate from a damage perspective. Not normally, but as compared to, uh, you know, the standards of this run now, certainly. One mom's knife, especially because we've gotten the small rock. Uh, has been enough to do a fairly substantial amount of damage. Not one-shotting bosses yet, but who knows, maybe we come across Polyphemus or something, and then Bob's your uncle. I never understood Bob's your uncle, man. There's gotta be some etymology 
I don't know if etymology is the correct term for origins of turns of phrases, but... Uh, or idioms, if you will. That was not good. Uh, but Bob's your uncle makes no sense to me, man. Everyone does have an Uncle Bob, I guess. At least every North American. Uh, but... Kind of nonsensical, wouldn't you say? That's what you, that's what you come to these videos for, right? Is my hard-hitting etymological analysis. Uh, why don't we just run into him like so? <laughs> that was more fast-paced than I initially intended it, but it worked out. So, the fire did kill one extra one, I believe. And we're at basically zero risk here as we continue moving onwards. Another Eternal Heart would be awesome. This appears to be a way to get to the boss room. Maybe not the way, but uh, a, a way to put us at least on the right track. But we can't go to the boss room yet anyway. We've got another... You know, at least 10 rooms to go through. There goes our last spirit heart. Sadly, this means that an eternal heart would not be nearly as valuable now as I'd once suspected that it might be. This is kind of a surprisingly long run, given the uh, remarkable tools at our disposal. But that is, you know, part and parcel with the, the kind of challenge that we are doing here. So, that candle should do it. And we will now leave. I'm guessing, you know, we're, we're looking at like, yeah, maybe 10 rooms left. Who knows? Candle worked well there, but sadly I didn't work well getting myself hit, but hey, free spirit heart. Gonna murder these guys. Even though these guys are easy, I can't shake the feeling that they are uh, one of my most hated enemies in the game. Or they're easy on paper, but in real life, when you actually find yourself face to face with them, surprisingly difficult to dodge. I think it's because they got like such little wind up time for their shots. And obviously I love dealing with these brain dudes who are very easy for me to kill. Alright, so this is indeed the way. Which means we won't be fighting our boss right away. Because I would like to uh, fulfill the conditions of our challenge. Right back it up. That was close. Tarot card is the world. Sure, why not? Pop that bad boy. We'll save our devil card, which I think is going to be more important. The world, like I said, you know, not that valuable for us, really. Considering we have to go to absolutely every single room anyway. It at least lets me know when I have gone to every single room. But, uh... Doesn't benefit me too much. It lets me know how many rooms there are. So I can see, oh, there's only three rooms left and then two boss rooms after that. We're going to replenish our health, obviously, on our way here. Uh, I, Unless I run across a very, very difficult first boss, uh, I would be incredibly surprised to see this run end up failing at this point in the game. You know, Cathedral, Chest, though that's a whole new ball game. Uh, but to, to lose on the uh, Room XL here, I would be very surprised. Which means, you know, as I always say, any run where you beat Mom's Heart is a positive run. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I believe this is going to be a positive run. Man, my throat's getting so dry. There we go. Back to full health. Probably going to immediately lose it here. Find these guys hard to deal with. Thank you, the candle. And now we'll make our way back to that boss room. I wish I could just teleport. Sadly, no Emperor card at our disposal. And is this... This might set the record for the longest time I've held on to a tarot card. I think we've literally had the devil card since the basement part two. And I've just been, you know, world card, fuck it. Use it right away. I'm holding on to this devil card. This is gonna, if this was a, like an 80s action movie, I would use this card, or fantasy movie I guess makes more sense. I would use this card at the last possible second, and it would end up saving us from almost certain death. In the meantime though, let's just kill Skolex in about like three seconds here. One more hit should do it. Uh, he's always a little bit less vulnerable when he does that, but in this position he's fucked. So we'll take our free HP upgrade, then we got Mom's Heart who gives us no treasure, so our last treasure is gone. Could there be a better run for taking out Mom's Heart than this? We have 99 Mr. Mega style bombs, candle, Mom's knife. Oh, why didn't I use a bomb there? Guess it comes down to execution then if you want to have a better run. Uh, we, we've got a lot of advantages at our disposal, shall we say. We don't even necessarily need the bombs because we have Mom's knife, but we have the bombs, so we might as well use them. Anyway, one more knife is going to be enough, then it's up to the next floor. And again, I'm going to take a quick coughing break. I apologize for this, but there's nothing I can do. Ahem, ahem. <coughs> okay. So, let's kill the Widow in one hit, shall we? Two hits? What is this? A mom's knife for ants? Let's kill War in... Yeah, seven hits? Two troll bombs. That's fine by me. And I, every time I come into a room, I'm reminded of some advantage that I have that makes this room fairly easy for me. I did take some damage there, to be fair, but... Um, when I came into this room, I'm like, oh, War might be able to hurt me when he gets, uh, when he starts moving really quickly. Nope, I forgot that I got, like, six speed upgrades over the course of the game. So no problem in that regard. Tarot card is the stars, which we're just gonna ignore. 
Uh, we should go to our secret room. I think I went to both secret rooms on the last floor. So I am still fulfilling the conditions in my opinion. One up again? Will the great items ever cease? I certainly hope not. I'm playing it cool here because I, I worry about these enemies being annoying as hell. These are definitely candle enemies. I mean the gish isn't necessarily, but the vaginal flies are usually going to be candle enemies as opposed to knife enemies. There's only two kinds of people in this world. Candle people and knife people. And they were definitely uh, candle people. I'm taking too much damage here. And you know, I'm, I'm expecting the, the Isaac boss fight to be fairly easy. Two things though. Not this easy, and we've got to get to it in the first place. So, uh, let's stop taking damage, shall we? And then, I will feel better about everything. Just come. You should be dead seven times over. Thank you for the spirit art, though. That was really nice of you. Now I feel bad about raising my voice in your general direction. We're just gonna keep randomly firing candles in, moving around as much as I can. I'm firing the candle as much as possible. I'm trying to get in the habit, because this is gonna allow us to block shots from a lot of these enemies, including the little tiny Geminis. Many of these guys have got to be very close to death here. Yeah, just one more remaining, and thank you for the health as well. These are big floors, man. You could be here a little while. But a single mom's knife blast into the center of the level, followed by a single candle, is enough to, uh, basically remove all of my concerns. There's another free spirit heart. Thank god there are rocks in the center of this level, so my dodging doesn't have to be as perfect as it normally would be on a room like this. And we're back to full health. Slightly better than full health, actually, by way of those spirit hearts that we have. We have a curse room! I hope I haven't passed up any curse rooms. Uh, if so, again, my apologies, as always. It was not intentional, I assure you. But make sure to go to that, even if it does cost us a spirit heart. Again, if I was smart, I would, like, use the stars card and, you know, walk into the curse room and teleport out. Oh. That was, yeah, I had a feeling I would end up hurting myself there. And there! That one was kind of a surprise to me, but, you know, at least that room's over with now. And six hearts is more than I need to beat Blue Baby. That speed up, or to beat Isaac, I should say. And then we got four items in the chest. We got Polyphemus, maybe we can one-shot Blue Baby. Who knows, there's lots of health. That is important to know about. So we're just gonna avoid the uh, chain reactions that will result here. If they do indeed, and they did. Judgment is, uh, okay, well. What we're gonna do with Judgment here? Well, never mind. I thought we were going to do something cool with Judgment, but instead, he left almost immediately after spawning, and he gave us a pretty bad item in the whole scheme of things. Uh, I know that there's a, a, a secret room where I can go replenish almost all of my health at this point. Don't worry about that, I haven't forgotten. Uh, that's just, that's my ace in the hole, really. Now, we're going to make our way down here. I think I'm coming close to the boss room. Yeah, this is going to be the direction that I'm going to go if I want to get to the boss room, but I don't want to go to the boss room just yet. Um... We're gonna come back here, we're gonna finish off all these rooms. I'm gonna replenish my health as well. And I'm thinking this Isaac fight, yeah, why not just do things the easy way? Instead of going into all these rooms, we'll just go into this one room. That will make things very easy on us. So, unless I have an awful, awful spell on the left side of the map, uh, we should be able to have full health going into our Isaac fight, plus an extra life. Which I think is gonna make things very easy, and it, for once, I'm gonna go against my conventional advice. Oh man, is that Spirit of the Night? It basically is worthless for us, but still a good find in the curse room. I mean, not for us, but for somebody, that would have been a great find. For somebody who didn't already have Mom's knife and a, a flying item existing. So we've been to every room except for that mob trap room. We will honor the conditions of our agreement with YouTube user Twinfinite by going down there. Ah, uh, we've been to both secret rooms. I feel like I might have missed some kind of room at some point. Uh, and if so, I apologize, but... I'm doing my damnedest here. I, the temptation to rush is strong. Believe you me. And I don't think the, the mob trap rooms get any harder after the depths. Or sorry, after the womb. So it will just be like three fairly mid-game bosses here. I guess Larry Jr.'s early game, but you know what I mean. Two Monstros beats two Monstro 2s. Which is a, a room that we could possibly run into on the chest. Maybe even on the, the cathedral, although we haven't run into it so far, so maybe not. And we have full health, which means it is time for us to simply go fight Isaac here. A fight that I assume is going to go reasonably well. So we're just going to... There's going to be a certain MO that we're going to have on this fight. And that MO is we're going to wait to fire the knife until the candle recharges. And then as soon as we fire the knife, we're going to fire the candle directly afterwards. Which will protect us from the onslaught of bullets that it will fire as a result of the knife hit. 
Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we are on the second phase of Isaac here. Have not been hit yet. Haven't even really come close. This is a very nice series of items. Uh, I did take damage there from something. It seemed like a holy water actually did damage to me. But anyway, that might have been one of the easiest Isaac boss fights we've ever had. Now it's on to the cathedral, or sorry, the chest and four items. Spider butt. Remote detonator. Magnet. Okay, at least one of these is useful. And Guardian Angel, also useful. Okay, so we got, you know, not a, it's kind of a wash, but at least two half-decent items. Can't really complain about that. Walked into the AIDS poop. Can complain about that. That was real silly. Uh, I'm not doing very well off the start here, I'll admit. Thankfully, we do have that one-up in case I totally botch things. For now, we're, we're far from that point. Uh, but it, things can change quickly, obviously. Uh, we're gonna want to get some health, but first things first, we're gonna want to explore absolutely every single room. We are fast enough to get around Super Lust here, but sometimes it'll have weird interactions with the physics in the game. One of these Super Lusts will come at us at like 5,000 kilometers per hour. In before, oh my god, Northern Lions using the metric system, how crazy is that comment? Uh, let's see what we've got here in our pill. Bad trip, wish I'd known that, that would have saved it and turned it into a full health pill, which would have probably guaranteed us success. What is this at this point? Kane's eye? I don't even know what this does. It's a tears upgrade, maybe? We're taking it. Because we don't need the Polaroid anymore. The Polaroid has already done its dirty work for us. I don't know if a tears up is very beneficial at all. However, um, you know, we might as well get some extra benefit beyond the Polaroid, which is not going to really benefit us at all, I think. We're going to get extra bombs from Wrath here, which is totally worthless, of course. Uh, we'll just back it up a little bit. Wow, that bomb actually got shot off the screen. Kind of surprising. We're still alive. It's not going fantastically well, but we do have this one up to kind of fall back on. Okay. Fuck you too, bloat. I managed to not take damage there, which is surprising to me. Obviously, we don't want to get up in this dude's face or on his side. Unless I can do that and kind of surprisingly manage to get one up on him. All right, that worked fairly well. We get poison bombs. This is actually potentially really beneficial. We have 99 huge poison bombs. Oh, don't die to the eights, poop. 99 huge poison bombs is actually pretty solid. Uh, did I just actually, I just stood there while the AIDS poop killed me? That's frustrating. Uh, let's blow this up. Fit through here without getting hit. Like so. Okay, we're still alive. Okay, now the moment of truth has come. Well, I guess the moment of truth will actually be the blue baby boss fight. But for now, we okay. The secret room has been opened for us, which is good, which means I hopefully won't forget to go into it. Had a weird lapse of concentration there. Sorry, I thought I heard someone knocking at my door. I thought of being like, oh yeah, uh, you know, I thought I left my clothes in the laundry machine or something. But no, just thought somebody was trying to interrupt my Fortress of Solitude. So that is what caused uh, that weird lapse where I got killed by the AIDS poop. My apologies. Secret room contains a ton of hearts? Sadly, no. But we should play the slot machine a little bit just to see if we can get a heart. And by that, I mean... Let's pretty much immediately blow it up and get the Unicorn Horn, which is an interesting option. I, I'm tempted to take it for that uh, Blue Baby boss fight, which is a sweet alliteration if I've ever heard one, but I kind of feel like uh, Candle is still better on that boss fight. We probably, you know, if we get to Blue Baby with a reasonable amount of health, we're probably in a very good position. We should only get hit, you know, maximum uh, once or twice. Yum Heart is uh, going to be an interesting choice for us to take for right now because it does give us full health. Man, I forgot. The chest is actually kind of a big floor. Thank God I didn't get caught. The, the bombs that Wrath is shooting out, or Super Wrath, whatever, are actually poison bombs. Which I just got hit by, sadly. Because uh, I guess all bombs just become poison bombs once you pick that item up. That's kind of a universal effect. It's been sloppy play on the chest so far, don't get me wrong. I would still be very disappointed if we ended up losing this one. Greed can always be kind of a pain in the dick, but we managed to make that work. We're down two hearts, still not in the red zone for, uh, well, especially now, uh, for this blue baby fight, but uh, more concern, shall we say. There's, uh, I didn't take any damage there? Holy shit, I got very lucky. So while he's far away, we're just going to fire in some uh, candle shots. I did end up taking damage, uh, but we ended up picking up more health as a result, actually. Beautiful, okay. So we're probably about halfway through the chest at this point. Uh, it, the thought of using Yum Heart for now just to gain charges has crossed my mind. But I think I'm going to just stick with the candle, which is going to save me damage in the long run. Although I just took damage there. Ignore that! 
again. We're going to try to use our candle against the bomb flies to blow them up. Hopefully do damage to Loki. Just don't die to Loki, man. That's a, a, a new low. Dying to Loki on the chest. I'm sure it's happened to me before, but not this time. This Loki's nearly dead. Once he's dead, we're all good. Because we only have to deal with the single bomb fly. Hopefully Ghost Baby doesn't cause him to blow up right in front of me. It was very close, actually. Uh, spike room, which means if I could trigger those guys, <laughs> I tried to trigger them to go uh, in front of me. It didn't necessarily work out that way. There we go. That was more uh, of the baiting that I was trying to do. Now we're on our final approach, I would say, to this uh, ma uh, blue, blue, blue baby boss fight. I'm going to try to get death out of the equation first because his pony can then hit pestilence. And the zombies that he spawns doesn't really bother me. Now let's just... I, I forgot that I could totally walk on that creep. In fact, Pestilence may end up killing the horse here, which would of course be the most beneficial for me. Now we've just got the horse. You all laughed at me, but I made this room work for me. My order might have been backwards, but it got the job done. The horse always surprises me with its hardiness. Uh, we've got four brain dudes, which is actually a surprisingly difficult room. We're just going to take it one brain at a time. Like so. One solid hit is enough to actually kill all of the components at once. Assuming it's, you know, lands dead center. Left for dead style. Uh, we're getting very close here. We just kind of not got to do that. It's kind of a tight situation for us here. But if we kill Gluttony last, which we just totally botched right as I said that, uh, we could have gotten some red hard drops which would have saved us a lot of problems as of now the 80s movie is appearing to come true with one and a half hearts left what is this balls of steel that's beneficial with one and a half hearts oh my god the hero font as well with one and a half hearts left and four spirit hearts this devil card could end up saving me we only have two rooms left one of them is indeed the boss room what is the room before this is an important moment for us two monstro twos shouldn't be the hardest room we've ever faced not incredibly easy uh but you know far from the most difficult shit we could be facing right now oh that was disappointing hell to lose i have a feeling this is going to come down to me with a heart and a half left against blue baby oh jesus christ and uh with the devil card of course which is going to be my ace in the hole please tell me this monster is dead yes okay maybe we'll have a couple spirit arts to grease the wheel too that's more damage for me and one more hit interesting situation that's another balls of steel card that's big uh, and we'll just immediately get ready to pop this devil card on the blue baby boss fight still i i think it's in my best interest to uh do the same strategy that i did last time fire the candle at the same time as the knife and this is going uh, a little bit faster than the isaac one did and i think we're gonna be totally fine here Against, well not against all odds, we started with a pretty sweet setup. Uh, but you know, we, we ended up turning it around, there were some dire situations. But largely, fairly easy, didn't even take any damage on that blue baby boss fight. So again, thank you to Twinfinite for that challenge run suggestion. Uh, and as always, thank you guys for the challenge run suggestions in general. Keep suggesting them, I will do the ones I deem most entertaining or appropriate. For the third, as always, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.